Good morning, South Texas. Certainly a great day to be a Cowboys fan. Let's go ahead and take a look at this beautiful sunrise behind me. Let's just have to step back and just really look at that beautiful start to our Saturday here in South Texas. Temperatures are on the cooler side. If you haven't noticed or been outside yet, 36 is how we're starting the morning off here in Corpus Christi. Overall, some areas are chillier than that. We'll notice that by 9 a.m. we'll start to see 40s start to reappear in the forecast and continue to rise from there. Expecting mid 60s by this afternoon and afternoon high temperatures aren't going to reach any much higher than that. Expecting about low 70s this afternoon. As far as cloud coverage, what that kind of looks like for us today, as you can see, it's looking pretty clear for us. South Texas, we see 50s on the board by 10 a.m. Clouds don't start to return until this evening and even then it's still going to be mostly clear for your overnight conditions. This is all because we have this high pressure system keeping conditions beautifully and nice and afternoon highs kind of in that a little bit of the comfortable range. We have this high pressure system sitting right just over us drawing in some winds that are going to be really moving in tomorrow as well. We we'll see some stronger wind gusts for our Sunday heading into the new year. But then we notice this is all ahead of a cold front that's expected to move on through by Monday. Maybe see some little um, bits of showers up here with that more so coming into play on Tuesday. But cloud coverage is what we're really looking at heading into Monday. We'll see more clouds more so expecting more of that rain to not come until Tuesday. Now as far as when that next front comes in, this one also is going to be on the weaker side, not expecting too much precipitation, but the chance still is there to see some isolated showers with this one. This one moves in more so midweek, just drawing out the little bit of moisture that we do see and drawing that right on through to see those more drier conditions move into the coastal bend as we head into the end of next week. Now overall, what rain chances looks like Tuesday does seem to be the greatest day for rain, more so Tuesday afternoon heading into the evening, expecting widely scattered showers showers there and then as we hit that next front Friday also looks maybe some isolated showers to peek into the forecast there. But either way, we see that Saturday through Monday and Wednesday through Thursday still may have some cloudy conditions, but overall looking to stay dry for those days. As far as the muggy meter is concerned, still going to be in that dry and comfortable area, not expecting humid or steamy coastal vents, so still going to be feeling very comfortable outside. We have this roller coaster effect because of the those fronts that we're expecting. So after each front, we'll see it drop right on back down. Not necessarily a huge drop, but still a little bit noticeable. And then the same thing once again behind that second front. It'll rise a little bit and then drop right back on down. So overall, it's going to be a nice few days coming up here in South Texas. Still probably need to keep the sweater weather in the wardrobe forecast. We'll have 48 morning lows starting tomorrow. Have 50s reappear midweek and then back down to 40s as we end end off the week. As far as marine forecast, it looks nice. Coastal bend may be a good day to go ahead and hit the water. The last few days of 2023 bays are going to be smoothed out there for you with a low rip current risk in effect out there. Here's going to be what your forecast looks like for New Year's Eve and day. If you're looking for any outdoor activity, South Texas, go ahead and do so. It's going to be nice. Just watch out for those winds and morning lows on the chillier side. Next seven days continues to be on on the nicer side for us here in South Texas, average highs above 68 degrees this time of year. We do see winds picking up once again, but overall it looks nice to start the year off in South Texas.